Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the FGO video reaction and I'm going to react to FGO Lost Bill 6, the third TVCM that came out. Now, before I start, um, I, like, you know, the day when I reacted to Koyanskaya, this also came out on that day and I saw it on the channel, on the official channel of FGO and I, like there were no subtitles and everything and I was like, okay, like I probably won't react to this and uh but then like i saw that there was like you know someone who subtitled it i'll be linking down your that video in the description box which i'm going to react to in this app uh, in this video so i'm sure you've checked it out any but still i'll be linking it down below if you have not checked it out you can go and click on it and you'll go to the video with subtitles so yeah as i was saying so i saw that someone subtitled it and then also someone told me to react to it so i was like okay like then let's check this out now here's the thing I doubt I'll be able to understand anything because this is Lost Bell 6 and uh, I have bare minimum idea of what is actually happening. I only have the background of what's happening like you know I know Oberon, I know Lancelot, the Fae, like you know the Fae versions of all the round table knights that we have seen and that's basically it that's basically all the information I have so I doubt I'll get spoiled because I have no context in it. So yeah, like, and like, you know, even if I kind of like, you know, understand something, uh, I doubt I remember it because it, this will come in two years. So I usually like, you know, that's what I used to do before. I used to check out all the servants before, you know, uh, as soon as they came out in JP version. So I've been doing this all along. So like, you know, I, I like, you know, I, and I forgot by the time uh, all these servants came to the NA after two years. So I don't think it will be any problem with the spoiler section, but yeah, like I probably won't be able, be able to understand anything, but still let's check this out and I'll have, give my thoughts on what, like, you know, how this Lost World TVCM is. This is the third part of the TVCM, I think. So it's a one minute video, a very short video. So without further ado, let's get started. This is uh, Faith Grand Order Lost World uh, 6, number th uh, third, num uh, the third TVCM. So... All right, so as I said, I'll be linking down the sub version in the description box. You can go check it out. So let's get started. Here we go. Whoa. Let us sin be forgiven. Fear is protected Allah. Britain was. を積み上げて永遠に永遠にでもどうぞいつまでも忘れずにレストセカイが新しくなるほど根は古びに足りないままこの通りおお、there's a lot of things happening okay whoa that was something wow the the background music is one of the most epic things i've ever heard like damn that was something okay i'm going to um play this in portion and i'm i'm going to like you know this as i said like a lot of things are happening and it took it's going to take a little bit of time for me to actually understand so okay the first thing is be forgiven be forgiven let our sin be forgiven given okay the fairies who love freedom okay like i'm guessing the fairy like you know the that we see in lost wells those now here's the thing as i said like you know i have no idea what what happens in lost bell 6 so everything is like you know uh, something that i understand from like the brief amount of information i have about lost bell 6 and if there's any kind of like you know huge spoilers things uh, no need to let me know because uh, as i said like you know like i i doubt i'll get any spoilers from this because this is completely out of context and neither has any kind of visual nothing else so i doubt i'll get spoiled so let's see uh, the fairies who love freedom Okay, crush like insects the fanged ones crushed like insects 
Fairies who protected the love. Okay, collapsed in poisonous blood, the royal bloodline tainted. I'm guessing this is talking about um uh Morgan and the whole thing of like you know Morgan and Mordred. I'm not sure, like it's just a guess. Anyways, your Britain will surely prosper. Okay, that which reflects hope disappeared. The mirror no longer shows hope, piling up countless deaths forever and ever. Without reaching different countries, the road to new lands goes unrealized. But please keep it in mind for the rest of your lives. The wise one committed a mistake. The wings of wisdom serve by blunder the newer the world gets the older the roots become the newer the world gets the older okay I really have no idea but yeah I should have expected this because I've not played well all spelled the shine collapses for love the glittering winds die for love and without anyone noticing it it becomes like this The curse beguiles the beast and the beast becomes the flames. It crumbles down with a single bite of worthless ends. Everything will keep falling on for all eternity, all of creation, all of eternity, everything shall fall. Be forgiven, be forgiven. Let our sin be forgiven. Okay, um, I had a little bit of concern, <laughs> even though, like, you know, I said that uh, because it's out of context, I won't get spoiled, but I st still thought I'll be spoiled. But yeah, I think I, like, you know, I haven't been spoiled because this, yeah, this, this is something that I would never be able to understand unless and until I think I play Lost Bell 6 or something. So, yeah, that was, I, I was not expecting it to be something like this, like, you know, I, I thought like you know I saw that it had no subtitles when this came out I was like okay like um, like you know I, I thought about reacting to it and I thought that what will I even react to if I don't even have any subtitles so then I like you know like then I thought that okay I'll not react to it then it got subtitled and like you know like I thought that okay like let's just watch this and yeah I really have no idea what the TVCM is about but it's fantastic one th two things which are obviously like i'm sure like everyone like you know uh knows that that the background music is one of the most epic background music i've ever heard like that was something the the one minute background music that was really amazing and the voice acting is done so so well now i don't know who this character is who is um saying everything here narrating everything here but my guess would be morgan i'm not sure because you know morgan is the i think the queen of the lost belt so my guess would be morgan is the one who is actually narrating everything so yeah okay so and the, the visuals we can see a few things here like the, this the first thing that we can see here is the it's like I'm not sure what this is there's like a dragon underneath i think that's a dragon there's like some kind of thing that's coming out of the dragon's mouth and then there's this huge thing here and they're like little things here i'm guessing these are i'm not sure humans or fairies most probably because they have little wings i can see i think these are little wings aren't they i'm not sure and i'm not sure who this is like has horn yes. oh just a sec sorry about that uh it says little horns or antlers i'm not sure what that is but yeah like there's a dragon there's a huge person here and there are little fairies here i think and there's this some kind of sun over here i'm not sure what that is but it's kind of like those um things uh what are those called those i think hieroglyphics they're called like you know the the things that in egyptian I think you know pyramids you can find pyramids or somewhere like that like you know there's 
things in the uh, uh, surface of the walls or something like those things it kind of looks like them and uh, okay and then the next scene next visual is this huge place with a uh, huge field here okay the next one is this kind of uh, now I, I think I remember this visual I think I remember this uh, background here I think this is uh, the background that we saw when we saw Morgan in the trailer you know like Morgan and um, uh, was like you know that when we saw like it was like I'm not sure but I think that that was like the background there so I'm guessing this is the place where Morgan actually stays uh, I might I might be mistaken but I'm not sure but yeah all right let's see the next one and this is collapsed in this looks like a temple I think or a church no not no, not a temple, sorry. I think it's a church. I might be mistaken, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like a church. Alright, okay, the next scene is like... Ruins, some kind of pillars are broken and all, so... Yeah, it's kind, some kind of ruins. Okay, and this, this is like... It's, it's on fire. I'm guessing like, you know, the destroyed cities or something like, you know, like the usual see, we, scene we see when some cities are destroyed, it's like on fire and everything. I'm not sure. And then the next one here is, I'm guessing this is Britain. Or am I, I think so. But it, it looks like the modern, you know, modern, not modern day Britain, but kind of in a way. You know, the buildings looks modern. But has that ancient feel to it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think. Oh, wow. It's like fountains. Little fountains. Okay. And the next one is like a map, I think, of the place. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I, I, like, you know, I tried to, like, you know, see each and everything that this trailer had to offer. Uh, sorry, this DVCM had to offer. And yeah, so yeah, guys, that was it. Now, as I said, like, you know, um, I doubt I'll be able to understand anything unless and until I play the Lost Belt. And um, so, yeah, like, I doubt there's any <laughs> fear of getting spoiled from this because I, I, yeah, I was unable to understand what happened with, because I have no context. Like, this is one thing that even, I, I think, like, I think someone asked me before this question that, like why even like you know watch this if you're going to play it later on like why get spoiled and like for me like you know like i always like not only for uh fgo for each and every uh anime be it or whatever like you know there's this whole thing of people saying that oh don't watch the opening you'll get spoiled or something like that like for me i i think like you know at least for me like, you know even though i even if i watched the openings in the beginning like you know before watching the show uh like what actually are spoilers like spoilers are things like oh this character is actually this you know or this happens to this character something like these are like spoilers so if i don't even have any idea who that character is even if i see something like that happening in the opening how am i even going to realize that yeah this character is this and this character is turning into this so I'm spoiled like I won't be spoiled like I have no context with it so that's my whole thing with uh, like you know my take on spoilers but because like I doubt like and I don't think anyone can get spoiled by only watching an opening or a trailer if that person don't even have any idea that who those characters are or what it is about so that's my whole take on spoilers and uh, I really don't mind that and also, like, as I said, like, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while. Like, even before I started YouTube, I used to check out the new characters that came out. So, <laughs> yeah. So, basically, like, you know, like, like, I've been doing this all along. So, that's another thing. And obviously, the main thing is content. You know? Like, that's, like, being, if you want to be, like, you know, if I want to be brutally honest, content. Like, like you know, like, I need content. Like, I'm reacting to stuff. I'm a reaction channel. So, Obviously, I need content. Uh, content. So whenever something new comes out in the FG official channel or whatever, you know, like obviously it's like, uh, like you know, it's something that I want to react to, and it also gives me content for a day. So that's another thing. 
So these are the reasons, <laughs> basically. Uh, so yeah, anyways, so that was it. So as I said, fantastic uh, trailer. It I feel it's very perfect for the end. Like it's, I think it's kind of like the end of the, uh, yeah, ending uh, TVCM or something like that. So it's perfect for the end. Like it has an epic music, one of the best background music I've ever heard. And the voice acting is fantastic. And I'm sure like, you know, the, the words that are being said here, I'm sure like everyone who has finished the Lost Bell will be able to understand what and why, like, you know, these are being saying, uh, said, said. So yeah, like that was great. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Fate Grand Order, Lost Bell 6 number uh, tvcm number three so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out um i do you know like fgo content like this and as like you know gameplay uh, fgo gameplay videos as well so like you know be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of them i'll be linking down my fgo playlist in the description box if you want to see more of my fgo content click on that you'll go to uh, the playlist where i have all my fgo content there and also uh, as i said like i'll be linking down this video link in the description box the one with the subtitle version i'm sure you've seen it but if you have not be sure to check it out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, in the next fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day